My name is Robert von Boop. Many people call me a grand slugger and a desperate hedonist, while the closers call me just a slacker. And that glorious day would not differ from all the previous glorious day of my glorious life if early in the morning I did not wake up with a persistent idea that Someone has stolen the time from me! Oh my god! Of course, like any sane or rational person, I did not start to panic. No. First of all, I decided to freshen myself up and have a good think about what to do next. It took some time. Of which I, however, had no more. I had to do something immediately, I had to get back what I had lost as soon as possible. Reflections led to nothing, neither did computations nor schemes. Desperate, I began to look for the answers among the position of the stars and planets. But the stars and planets gave no talking. Then I realized that I could not handle this problem alone, and I began to think to whom I could appeal. The first person I thought of was my old friend Bedrick Bedlam, whom I had not seen for about 200 years. Recently, Bedrick has become a successful businessman, so if anyone knows where time vanishes to, it's probably here. Uh, hi Bedrick, um, nice to see you. Bob! Bob One Book. Long time no see. You have grown up, I guess. You look very mature. Sit down, please. Sorry. This is a very important call. I will answer it and be at your disposal shortly afterwards. Listening? No, this should not be allowed. He must deal with it. The report should be at my desk tomorrow at 12 o'clock exactly. Decide as soon as possible. Sir Bob, I'm all yours now. Yes, uh, Bedrick, uh, I have a big problem and I would like to appeal to you uh, as an expert. Yes, of course. It's a matter of life and death, uh, you know. Sneaky bastard! Uh, Sir Bob, it's not about you. Yeah, I'll call you back later. I have a meeting at the moment. Sir Bob, I'm listening. Yes, um, it's uh, concerning time. Exactly! Look at what time it is, uh, Sir Bob. I almost missed the right one. I'll be at your disposal in a moment. Greetings, this is Bedlam. I would like to say that we have discussed everything and I don't have any time at all to assist. Suddenly I realized that Bedrick does not have as much time as it seemed, and he's not as proficient in this regard as I thought. Time is money, of course, but according to Bedlam, money does not mean time. But maybe there is still a way to turn money into time? Respect. You have to then an idea came to my head to try the Pandemonium Goods and Services, the store that supplies absolutely everything. Surely they must have some time for sale and then I will be able to compensate what was stolen. But sir, I'm afraid at this moment we do not have time available for sale. It is the best selling good at all time and people are waiting in queues for years to get their order. Would you like me to put you on the waiting list? But I did not have time to wait. Almost hopeless, I walked along the empty street when suddenly... Spell! I heard you were looking for time stolen from you. Oh my god! I am! Do you know who could have stolen it? I don't know, but I know someone who might. Is the one who knows everything regarding time, whether it's a daytime or nighttime, leisure or work. 
You're lucky you met Eddie Maelstrom, pal. Eddie will definitely help you. Thank you. And who is it? Don't play for time, I beg you. The watchmaker. The horologist. Almost all the stolen time passes through him. So, if someone stole it, the watch, the watchmaker will most likely know where to find him. He's waiting for you at the time storage at this address. Robert Van Boop, I have been waiting for you. Sit down. I was told that uh, you might know who stole my time and how to get it back. In fact, I do know the one who stole your time, Robert. He sat right in front of me. At this very spot. And who is it? How do I find him? I will tell you a short story, Robert. It will help you very much. This is a story about the theft of century. Whole century from the whole city. Once upon a time, a few people committed a terrible crime which caused the main clock of the city to stand still for nearly a hundred years. Time stood still at the place as well as throughout the city and hung in the air like electrical charge. It was accumulating and collecting at this very point, like water in a dam. At in the end, it broke out with a bank, destroying the time continuum. Since then, you can see strange things going on in the city. You will find what you are looking for where it all began at the same place by the main clock. My god! How do you know all of this? And how do you recognize the robber? Let's just say I was involved in the story. You will definitely recognize the Robert, don't worry. But her, Robert, you no longer have a right to waste your time. And I did as he said. Without wasting a minute I went to the very clock. And there I saw him. The villain. The robber who stole my time. As the watchmaker mentioned I recognized him immediately. Because it was... Me. Myself. Oh my god! 